Hello and welcome again to another video from Kim Mundy. Today we're looking at drawing Lewis structures for molecular compounds. Hold on you would say, are these molecular compounds? You learnt them as polyatomic ions. Yes, they will react with other ions to form ionic bonds, but within a polyatomic ion, the bonds are covalent. So what we're looking at today is how to look at covalent bonds. And you must remember that within covalent bonds, electrons are shared. So for example, if we were looking at the nitrite ion, we all know that the formula is NO2 minus. Okay, so what you do is you start with your electron bookkeeping. TVE stands for total valence electrons. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. We have two oxygens and they each have six valence electrons. And we have a negative charge. So we add an ele extra electron to our electron bookkeeping. And we see that we end up with 12 plus 6 is 18 valence electrons. Okay, now we go back to the structure. Between nitrogen and oxygen, we pick the central atom based on symmetry and also the least electronegativity. So based on symmetry, we see that we have nitrogen in the center and two oxygens. We also see that there's a negative charge. So we must remember to put square brackets around our iron or our molecule and indicate the charge. Now that we've set the basics up, we now need to look at bonding electrons. So this step is from the central atom to an outer atom or ligand. You put just a single bond. So how many bonding electrons have we used? We've used two per bond. So we minus a total of four bonding pair electrons, which leaves us with 14 valence electrons. Okay, what you do now is the next step looks at lone pair electrons. We allocate these electrons in pairs to the outer atoms, not to the central atom, but to the outer atoms. Have a look at how I do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so those outer atoms can't take any more lone pairs. So we minus twelve electrons and we have two valence electrons remaining. Any remaining electrons after you've allocated to the ligands go directly onto the central atom in a pair. We're not allocating electrons in anything else other than pairs. Okay, so for in order for you to get the mark here, you must arrive at a value of zero. And we've now got our initial Lewis structure. How do you check your Lewis structure? The biggest check for a Lewis structure is that your central atom should have a full octet. So all of the electrons, either in lone pairs or shared, should add up to eight. But how many do we have around this atom? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that means we haven't achieved an octet yet. How could we achieve an octet? This set of lone pairs could become a double bond, correct? And we would get a structure. Nitrogen still has its lone pair. This oxygen is untouched. It is just this oxygen here, which has formed a double bond with one of its lone pairs. Okay, and we remember to put our charge. This is just an abbreviate, abbreviated way of making those large brackets. So we could have taken from the oxygen on the left. We could also have taken from the oxygen on the right, correct? And we would have gotten a structure. Nitrogen in the middle, it still has its lone pairs. It has a double bond to the right.
Okay, and now we can check both of these structures. Now the nitrogen has shared around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. Okay, but you might argue that these structures are the same. Yes, they are. They are what we call equivalent re resonance structures. That means neither one has preference in terms of what would occur. Okay, they're both equally likely. Sometimes you'll find that certain resonance structures are more likely than others, and that is based on formal charge, which we'll get to in the next video. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is bond order. If we were to look here, you see a double bond. And a double bond usually means a bond order of two. And a single bond usually means a bond order of one. But here we've got a double-headed arrow. What does this actually mean? It means as if we look down a little bit, we could draw a hybrid structure for what's going on. We've got nitrogen with two electrons. It definitely always has a single bond to each oxygen. Each oxygen also definitely has four electrons, but this double bond can either be on the left or on the right. And if they are equivalent resonance structures, it means that double bond is moving constantly. You aren't able to pinpoint where those double bond bonds are. So what you do is you actually draw a dotted line. Okay? And we remember our charge is negative. So what that means is if we have a bond order of 2 here and a bond order of 1 here, what is the average bond order? So bond order being the number of bonds divided by the number of domains. Okay? So we would refer to this as a domain and that as a domain. So really we've got one, two, three bonds shared over one, two domains. Three over two being a bond order of 1.5 on average for the hybrid molecule. What I would like you to do now is to go back to these four ions and try and do what we have done here. You might not find resonance, so you will only find resonance in the nitrate ion. These others you shouldn't find resonance, but please give them a go before you encounter your tutorials this week.